Hi guys, in this short tutorial I want to show you about creating the basic a basic storyline and why you would want to create a storyline and the advantages of having a storyline. Okay, so we have some clips here, there's a few clips. Just say we are putting together a, an intro, we want to keep these clips together, not just like have them all separate like this. Okay, so this is where a storyline comes in. But first we need to go to the start, we'll do function left arrow. We need to create some blank space because we cannot create a storyline on this primary timeline. So we need to option W have some blank space or a clip below the storyline. All right, so we, put, we have to put this on a secondary timeline. I know it sounds confusing, but uh, I hope you're following me. <laughs> we select all these. Then we drag to the secondary timeline and then you see that is above the blank space or this could be um, this could be just say some other clips but then you've got b-roll so it's best to do this above the black 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 bar the black space um, otherwise it won't work all right so we create an intro so how do we do it to put it to a storyline we select them all we go to um, clip and create storyline Right, you see, and I'll just show you the shortcut which is better, so I'll undo that. So they're all still selected. The shortcut is Command-G, very, very simple to remember, Command-G, and that puts a black bar at the top. So now you've got all these clips that are all linked together, and the advantage is that definitely over a compound clip is you can edit these like you would do with a normal on the primary timeline with a normal section of clips, but basically they're all stuck together. So it's great for like an intro, say. Um, so we can add transitions, Command-T, we'll just add transition and, uh, you know, you can put titles. And basically they all stick together, we edit and uh, put the transition back. You see, we move, it all sticks together. We can add titles as well. Um, so you can work on the secondary, pre secondary timeline and just edit how you like. We can even like go to this and cut, cut it down and just you know it's just handy to have all these clips together um great for like i say an intro um to cancel this if you don't want you know you don't want it to be all stuck together all the clips you do shift command g all right or you can use a menu bar similar to what we did before um so now we've um we've unstorylined them so now you see the problem they're all not stuck together and you move this about and it just messes everything up see so that's why you want it a storyline um so i'll just select them all again put it in storyline command g another way to cancel it if at any time you're dragging these clips down to the primary timeline you always make sure you grab the top bit the top black bar you put it down to here then the time the storyline cancels okay so it's important to keep this section of clips above a black bar all right and then make sure they are a storyline and then you can edit to your heart's con content uh, content consent all right so um you know just uh, something really useful to keep in mind when you edit in uh, and you want to keep a certain section of clips together and put them you have to put them on a second rate timeline uh, so i hope this is useful to you I know it's took me a while to kind of realize and learn this, but I just wanted to share this on this channel and I hope it's helpful to you. Thanks for listening. It's been uh, it's been great to have you listening, have you here learning with me. We're all learning. And as I learn more and I have more tips, I will post videos on this channel. So if you like the content, please subscribe and hit the like button. Until the next video, thank you very much. Peace.